what's up guys welcome back to another video from manifest sound and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to convert audio into midi and um, a little disclaimer before we get started this um strictly work with melodies and just melodies um but i'm gonna be recording another video that explains how to convert audio that have chords and that has complex melodies and then converting drum loops also into midi so i'm going to be recording that video later on but without wasting much of your time let's dive into what we have for today all right so we're gonna head over to our playlist as you can see i have three audios here and the first one is a vocal phrase from one of our packs and it sounds like this want it i got it i know i'm a stranger Alright, so the second one is a guitar loop from the SAS pack from Splice and it sounds like this. Alright, so the third one is a saxophone loop from Cymatics Dreams sample pack and it sounds like this. Right, so we are going to try converting the three samples to midi and we are going to be starting with the focal phrase first all right so what you want to do first is select a keys plugin where you want the midi extracted from this audio to go into for this instance i'm going to be using expand 2 i'm going to be using the acoustic piano from it uh, which is called grand piano echo as you guys can see so um what you want to do next is very simple and straightforward you want to go to this audio in particular and then click this audio icon over it and then select um, edit sample but if you don't want to go that way there's also another way to go about it which is coming over to this place and then clicking the vocal phrase and then you right click and then select edit sample as you guys can see it automatically opened editing and what you want to do next is come over to this audio here and then come to tools then come to convert to score and dump to piano roll what this does is it automatically sends the midi information in this audio to your piano roll all right so let's go over to our channel rack and see what we have there as you guys can see it sent the midi information from that audio to this um audio in the channel rack but what we'll do is just copy or cut and paste to our keys plugin so that we can get to assess the midi information it has converted or extracted from the audio all right so i'm going to paste it here and we're going to do a little comparison all right so let's listen Alright, so um, a little disclaimer also, this is not 100% perfect in the sense that you still have to do some editings on the MIDI. It is just so good for people that don't play keys to get melodies, to get chord progressions, to get um, the counter melodies and all of those things. So in, in this instance, we are going to be editing the MIDI a bit. Alright, so guys, let's just have a little comparison again. Want it? I got it. I know I'm a stranger. Want it? I got it. I know I'm a stranger. 
as you guys can see we were able to extract the midi information from the vocal phrase that we just played now and it almost sound like it we are going to be using another sample which is a guitar loop from the sas sample pack and let's listen to the audio first all right so guys what we'll do next is come over to this place and select edit sample it's going to automatically um, open editing as you guys can see and what we want to do next is come over to tools and then select convert to score and dump to piano roll yeah so it's going to automatically send it to our channel rack okay what we want to do next is cut it from this place and send it to pattern 2 you can just drop it here and then we'll come back to our playlist and compare them together so okay let me play the midi first all right so what i want to do next is edit it a bit because i can hear some double notes there Alright, so guys, let's now compare it with the original audio that we have. Okay, as you guys can see, this is almost close to what we have in the original audio. And this is also a cheat code to get and take melodies from wherever you want to take it from. So, um, we're going to go over to our last example, which is a sax loop. And also demonstrate the same technique on it. Alright, so we listen to our audio first. Alright, so let's listen to our MIDI. Alright, so uh, I can hear some double notes, so we double click and just have a little editing there. Alright, so guys, we're going to come up to our playlist and compare them now, playing them side by side. so a quick recap from what we've been doing since morning guys so first of all we had a vocal phrase and we were able to extract the midi information and we got this yeah and next up we had a guitar loop and we we're able to get this from it yeah so guys and lastly we had a saxophone loop and we we're able to get this from it Alright, that's it for this video guys. Find value and find this video helpful. Kindly click the subscribe button and turn on notification. Also, don't forget to like this video because it helped the YouTube algorithm to also recommend this video for other people to see and hopefully it helps them convert their audio to MIDI. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Peace out.